Good morning. Today I'd like to talk about Brother Lawrence. He's an unusual fellow. He was not an official saint by any means, um, but he was a gentleman that was discovered. Uh, there was a uh, assistant or a person on the staff of a cardinal who had come to a Carmelite min uh, monastery. And while he was there, he ended up breaking, making into this conversation with this gentleman in the kitchen. And he was so struck by what he was hearing that here he was, this high-level uh, staff member, the cardinal, and it was this brother, Lawrence, that was just amazing to him. And Brother Lawrence had a very simple message. His message was he always had the sense that he was in the presence of God, and that changed everything. Now, he didn't start that way. He started out uh, actually struggling quite a bit. He was uh, Richard Herman uh, from Normandy, and um, he spent a couple years in the military, didn't let, do what, too well with that, um, and then uh, became what was called a footman. Now, uh, that's a guy that opens doors and does menial tasks for a rich banker. Um, and as he saw the rich banker, he understood the different statutes in life, but he, he sure didn't seem like that guy had too much happiness either. So he thought, oh, I'll be a hermit. He had heard that, and he was a very religious fellow. You know, his folks were really on the straight and narrow and got him going as well. So he tried to be a hermit. And what he found in the silence was a lot more restlessness than peacefulness. He just couldn't find it at all. So he, lo and behold, he goes to Paris and he asked to be able to be admitted uh, to this Carmelite monastery. It's a Descales Carmelite, so they're the stricter ones that go into prayer quite a bit. They have a minimum of three hours of private prayer every day. And he struggled there too. He tried and tried just so often. He felt like he got distracted in his thoughts and then he got mad at himself for his distractions. And it was like this circular thing. Not too different from some of the prayer problems I have. <laughs> Uh, it seems like sometimes when I try harder to pray, it's like it gets harder to pray. And it's like, wait a second, where's the contradiction there? But what Brother Lawrence came to be, and he was uh, assigned to the kitchen. He didn't like the kitchen. He didn't like it at all. But he was in charge of chopping vegetables and washing and drying dishes. That was his job. But he came to a point where he realized if he could just be in the presence of God. And he had a like a converting experience or a real mystical moment one time when he was in the woods and there was a tree and it just, it was winter. So the tree had no leaves and it looked totally barren. And somehow he connected this sight and the idea that these leaves are going to be flowing from this tree and it's going to be this beautiful moment of thing. He associated it with the death and resurrection of Jesus. And that there's a life in us that could come forward. Well, anyway, from this moment on, he became even more dedicated and more in line. And what he got to was a concept that he's always in the presence of God. Kind of like uh, as if we were a kid, we think, oh, my mom's watching me. Oh, how do I behave? But it wasn't just a, a discipline thing. It was more like a companion that he felt was with him. And he enjoyed this companion with him. He felt as much as close to God and in prayer while he's doing his dishes and people are screaming in the kitchen about this and that, that and we have to get this ready at the same time as if he was kneeling in front of the Blessed Sacrament. Didn't matter to him. Retreats were not real big for him. It's just the fact of always being aware of the presence of God. And I think to myself, oh, if I could do that, ooh, that'd be pretty good. Um, Brother Lawrence never wrote anything. I'm not sure that he was highly educated at all. And yet, this sense of closeness with God and this uh, strength that he felt from Jesus was just so incredible um, that it inspired this staff member. I think his name is Buffon. Give me a second here. Um, M. de Bo Beaufort. Uh, so he ends up uh, writing back and forth with Lawrence and after Lawrence dies, he puts all this together and they put together a little book called uh, The Practice of the Presence of God. And that's literally what he did is he practiced always being in God's presence. And it makes such a difference for us if we could hack, act today and think today, all through, whenever we're doing something, because 
no matter what our job is, whether it's important or it's menial or you're retired or whatever, we're always doing little things. And to imagine in the little things that my God is watching me. And not watching me like a judge, but watching me like a friend who's quietly sitting next to me, and giving me a for affirmation. May you and may I be affirmed today with the hope and the memory of Brother Lawrence. Thanks.